Hey guys, so I have come to Mashhad and I have come to a beautiful pizza place. Yes, it's 2.45 in case you're wondering why it's empty. Look at everyone. So the place is called Pizza Hezumi, which means I think uh, like the oven, the pizza oven. And uh, Seppi has that. ordered the burger, mm. everyone else has ordered she burgers, only me and my dad have ordered the pizza. Them. My pizza is the special pizza which has all oh, kinds of meats and ham, mushroom, uh, bacon, but it's of course halal bacon. Um, I will show you. And this is the pizza. And now I shall be trying this yummy, yummy pizza. This pizza is by far the most yummiest pizza ever. I love Iranian pizza. I just love it. It's so delicious. Look at this. Look at all these layers. It's called the stuffed crust. And like, there's like salami, cheese, olives, peppers. Cheese in that. Yeah, it's a madness. A solid 10 out of 10 pizza. No, it's a 100 out of 10. Yeah, it's, it's called a stuff for us and it is thebomb.com. If you come here, it's called Firewood Pizzeria. We're so type in on Google Firewood Pizzeria in Mashhad. Uh, in Mashhad. And yeah, Saul and I have ordered burgers and so is our cousin Reza. We'll show you those for Sinus vlog as well. This burger is so yummy. It's from the shop next door. It's called Atash Burger, which is Fire Burger. Ooh. And we got a fiery mushroom burger. Let me bite it. You like it? <laughs> I told you before. You remember <laughs> one so month ago. My dad sent me videos of this and it was so yummy. I'd give this a 9 out of 10. The reason why it's not 10 is because I don't like the bun. It's really crumbly. But the burger is so nice. And these are the cheesy fries. And they've got gouda on them. So I'm going to dip it in chili sauce. Very nice. Today we have come to Mercy Cafe with Sol, my mom, and the beautiful Sippy. Me and Sol have ordered a panini um, that we're going to share together, and Sippy ordered a salad. This is the panini. Oh my god, look at that. It's called the special panini of this Mercy Cafe. And look at that. It's humongous. This is Seppi's salad. Uh, how delicious this salad just looks. Like a baguette, but this panini is. I don't know what kind of bread is this, so it's the same. It's a baguette bread, it's a baguette bread, but it's not the same as the baguettes in England, though. It's Persian bread, it's Persian baguette. Also, it's been pressed. Let's try it. I think it means finger licking good. Mm. <laughs> it's really, really nice, but I love the sandwiches in Iran anyway. But this is delicious. So mine is a chicken and mushroom salad with olives, tomatoes, cucumbers, salami, and croutons. And it's got a special sauce as well. It's really good because you can tell the chicken is made fresh right now and it's hot still and so is the mushroom and you don't really get that often in London with salads like a lot of the meat is like kept in the fridge and then they slice it up and put it on the salad so I really like it. and we have come to eat yummy food right next to the pool it's so gorgeous here the weather is amazing the company is even better and now let's try the food 
so I have ordered Maxus, which is a skewer of bag and a skewer of kubi there. And I love how they give some vegetables on the side here with grilled tomato, chili and gherkin. And over here we have the saffron rice, which is the number one favorite rice of everyone in Iran. And this is tagine, which is a uh, rice mixed with yogurt and egg. And it comes and then create it into like a sort of cake form. It's so nice. I'm here with my beautiful mummy. Oh, mummy, what's this? Um, olive. Oh, and my gorgeous grandmother. Hello, Sophie. So Sol has ordered kubide banan, which is kubide with bread. It's lovely. This is what I usually order here. They make their bread fresh, so it's really nice. It's all tandoor bread. And my dad has ordered fish, which we will show you in a second. And Sefi has all the chicken, Juje, Bedina Ostafon, which is her favorite. She says she's currently trying to get the rest of the food. And Kazan Reza's ordered Kubi as well. Moment to try my bag. This bag is so delicious. Honestly, it's lovely. In Bijan, in Bijan, they were using. I don't know, Gusalachia? They were using calf um, instead of like baby lamb, but over here you could literally taste the baby lamb. No, 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 it's no, so no. nice and tender and delicious. I'm, I love the food here. I love no, no, no. Mashad in general is famous for lamb chops and bag in Kubida. They're just famous for it, especially a particular area called Shandis. So everyone in Mashad, whoever wants Chilla kebab, proper chilla kebab, knows to come to Masha to have proper chilla kebab. It's just delicious. Welcome to the beautiful Torgabe. Torgabe is a city, I don't know, I think it's a city. Close to Masha, it's like 20 minutes drive from Masha, and it is the place to go for the best kebabs, especially lamb chops in the whole of Iran. There's Tormabe and Shandiz, Aslan Shishnik is Shandiz Manfer, Shandiz Shishnik, which is lamb chops, are famous worldwide within the Iranian. And here is Torgabe, one of their best restaurants, which is one of the el oldest restaurants that everyone knows. And this restaurant is called Restaurant Bolbol, which Agai Bolbol will come and say hi to you guys if we see him. Normally he's nice enough to come and say hi, but I will show you how beautiful he's designed this restaurant. Literally, he goes around the world and travels and whatever he sees, he really loves it, he comes and makes that happen in his restaurant from the design to the food to everything so let's look at this place. you sit on beds like this in Iran and they bring something called a sofre which they put on the floor and you eat on the floor. Look at these things. All over is just good. Look at the Look at this rice. 
with fresh naan and fresh organic homemade yogurt and the tagine. Look at this samovar. It's a cold samovar, so it boils tea, makes tea. So this is literally the most traditional you could possibly get as an Iranian. I'm not gonna lie, I bit this lamb chop and totally forgot to record it, but I shall bite it again. It's by far the best. It's so tender and juicy. The way it's cooked, it's perfect. The best lamb chop ever. Ever, ever, ever. Delicious. This is the beautiful Bulbul restaurant. The camera floors for sins. And these are like huts that people sit in. And look at this. The tunnel where they make their fresh naan bread. And their selection of different types of fruit. This is one portion for one person. Oh my god, look at this one big portion of lamb shank for one person. Like everywhere else in the world, Iran has street food as well and one of its main street foods is called Dilo Jigar and Dilo Jigar is basically liver and heart of the sheep and another street food that they have is sweet corn but today I have come to a Dilo Jigar and this Dilo Jigar place is meant to be like a five star Dilo Jigar because they've converted the street food into a shop now let's look at this place. This is the Dilo Jigar place. Let's go in and see. This. Oh, this is Dilo Jigar. And that's the little hole that they're making the food and the barbecue. Look how cute and small their skewers are. I'm super excited to try this because Delijaga is one of my favorite foods and we can't find food like this or street food like this in England so for me to try this and this is the first time that I'm actually not eating it on the street and it's in an actual shop so let's see how it tastes look at this this is the heart of the baby lamb Yum. Sebi, are you going to try this for us? Yeah. How is that? So good, so juicy, well seasoned. 10 out of 10, 100%. It's not cooked to dryness either, it's very good. Oh, so hot. Welcome to Restaurant Eran VIP. I'm going to show you guys the buffet. So this is the buffet. Over here we have a selection of starters, selection of salads and sauce. This is by far the... Oh, look at this. Chicken cake. Oh my god, I'm so going to have this. I don't know what this is. Look at this beautiful lamb chop. Wow! Bah, bah, bah. Shish, no, no. Shishlika Shandi's 
everyone knows lamb chops in Shandis are famous worldwide. They're well known to be in the bears and they're humongous. Look at this lamb chop and look at the size of my head. Now let's try it. It's so nice. This is definitely a 10. 100% 10 out of 10. If I could, I would give it 20 out of 10. It's that nice and delicious. Make sure you guys, you come to Mashad and you go to Shandy's and you try their delicious VIP. lamb chops in VIP Eram restaurant because it is gorgeous. So now it's time for dessert and they're setting the dessert table. This one is what green is and fruit. I'm in diet. Hello and welcome to dinner. So we are in Mashad still. I have literally two more nights here and then I'm going back to England. And tonight we have come to Leon. Leon is uh, on top of the mountain. Uh, it's a restaurant cafe on top of the mountain in Mashad and it's really it's so beautiful you have like the view of the whole city and you have like the whole city under your feet you can see all the lights of the whole city it's gorgeous and look behind me i'll show you guys so this is literally and look over there we have the whole city Over here, I have obviously decided. Hello, baby. So over here, I have obviously decided to order food, and they're meant to be very famous for their burgers. And now that the burgers arrived, I literally know why, and I will show you. So I've ordered a burger. Seppi has ordered a Caesar salad and a burger. My cousin has ordered pasta, and now we're going to try it. Wow, so look at this burger. This burger is a roast barbecued burger. Wow. My cousin has ordered a chicken pasta. Otsbeen, pasta chetore. Koshmazaz, as Vyekta Dah Chagat Midi. trying this delicious burger. Let's see how it is. It's so nice. Honestly, this burger is delicious. I would give it a nine just because I feel that it's not seasoned that much. But I feel like I'm having this trouble in Iran where some things are overly seasoned with salt, some not enough. And I'm not even fussy in that sense, but it's so delicious. Hello everybody, we are okay. at Pesaron and Karim in no. Mashad. So Pesaron and Karim is like one of the most famous, yeah. it's one of the most famous restaurants, full stop. And they're very, very famous for their lamb shank. Oh my God, mm -hmm. I just saw the food and I have to show you. Yummy. I literally just recorded someone else's food, but it doesn't matter because ours is coming. But look, Mom, Daddy, why is Pesaron and Karim famous? Because the quality is number one. And this one. I was in nursery, my dad he took all of us. Since my mom was in nursery, her dad has taken her here. I can't wait to try this food. 
I've had this food, it's not my first time, but it will be my first time having it in many years because I haven't had this food in Iran for a long time because I haven't been in Iran for a long time. I'm super excited to try this and let's see how it is. So here is this delicious yummy, 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 yummy lamb Yummy shank. in my tummy. Look at that. Neck of the lamb. Olives. Look at this lamb shank. The neck of the lamb. Oh my god, my mouth is watery. So this is what this place is famous for. These fried caramelized onions. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Literally, as my mum named it, it's food from heaven. It's time for me to try this baham chocolate. Yummy. I swear to you, the meat melts in your mouth. It is by far the best food in the whole of Iran. It's even nicer than the lamb shanks, and I, I mean the lamb chops, and I love the lamb chops. I love Iranian pizza just because it's so full of ingredients, full of cheese, full of um, sausages, meat, everything. In England we just eat our pizza, we don't put ketchup and stuff on it, but I've seen that in Iran everyone puts ketchup, so I am going to put some ketchup on this pizza. Look at this. Mm. Wow. Mm. It is so nice. quietly while she says yummy because we're literally all sitting here <laughs> my mum's poor cousin is like trying to talk about how it's warmer here than it is in Vietnam we're not allowed to talk because we have to have her say mmm yummy, yummy. <laughs> just it's me saying you to get on top of the goat so she can record me for my vlog that's not a goat yeah. that's a baby it horse no, don't, Sebi, it's gonna fall. No, it's Sebi, it's gonna fall, it can't change it. <laughs> no, it's a stick on the stone. It's small, but right, it will break off. <laughs> My mum wants. But your eyelashes, this is a food vlog, mum. Your eyelashes aren't to eat. <laughs> Look at her, she's so cute. The guy behind me, I think, is laughing at me recording food because in his head he's thinking, why is she recording herself eat? She wants to watch it tonight or something. <laughs> I swear. Excuse the lump on my hair. Look at my new nails. I need to fix my hair. I just got my nails done. I took my extensions out because I'm starting university. But that has nothing to do with this food vlog. Welcome. <laughs> I that. Welcome. 